top ten books from Elena Littman, author bio. Elena Littman is an American novelist, short story writer and essayist. Book number ten, Rachel to the Rescue, 2020. Rachel to the Rescue is a mischievous political satire with a delightful cast of characters from one of America's funniest novelists. Book number nine. The Ladies' Man, 1998, a romantic comedy of errors by the novelist whose previous labours in this vineyard have established her as a master hand. Funny, dumb, good-natured, predictable and slick. Letman knows what she wants to do and does it very well. Book number eight, review from Penthouse B, 2013. Littman's latest is a post-financial crass comedy about a 50 year widow and her divorced sister living together in a Greenwich Village apartment. This book has more romance and less satiric bite than the author's best comic novel. Book number 7. The Pursuit of Alice Frith, 2003. Popular for sprightly if Predictable romantic comedies, Littman stretches her boundaries in her newest by letting readers know early on that her lovers will not end up happily ever after, at least not together. A clever sweet tart, more tart than sweet. Book number six, is Isabel's Bed, 1995. The unabashedly romantic Littman has a talent for turning a talk show fair tabloid headlines into light yet meaningful fiction. So well paced that you could devour it in one sitting, but so much fun that you regret admission so quickly if you do. Number five. The Family Man. 2009. Littman returns with the story of a retired gay New York lawyer who finds himself happily embroiled with his ex-wife's now adult daughter. Another romantic comedy from the always clever Littman. Book number four, My Latest Grievance, 2004. All hell breaks loose when a new dorm mother arrives at a second mate of New England girls' college in Littman's hate romantic comedy. Not one of this popular author's best. Book three, The Hin at Lake Divine. 1998, Littman again celebrates romance grounded in the real world as she wittily details love's rout of prejudice by two young couples, an upbeat and amusing romp through what is usually a minefield by a writer who deftly makes her point but never preaches. Book number two, On Turpentine Lane, 2017, a professional Thank you note writer buys a house with a past and gets more than she bargained for. Warm, clever, a little silly, but a lot of fun. And at number one, we have Good Riddance 2019. Daphne Maritich has no idea why her mother, a popular New Hampshire high school teacher, left her a heavily annotated yearbook for the class of 1968, but she's about to find out whether she wants to or not. Littman's narrative, Ryo, keeps things moving at a good clip. The bonus book, Ms. Demeanor, 2022, from one of America's most beloved contemporary novelists, a delicious and witty story about love and house arrest. Which is your favourite book? Let me know in the comments below.